On day three, we had the task of going to find the gigantic Dragon Skull Temple. We weren't sure what exactly we were going to find, but we knew it was going to be dangerous. The sun rose and I was ready. I had to traverse across this crazy landscape full of volcanoes. I had to watch every step, and I also had to get prepared for what was going to be in store for the day. Straight away I found myself some iron so I decided to mine it up. I also got some stone because I was going to have to go ahead and make myself a furnace to smelt that iron. I also needed coal so I grabbed that too at the base of this volcano. And then when I looked over in the distance I saw it. It was huge! A gigantic skull of a dragon! I mean this thing couldn't have been real. It was way too big but I knew I had to go and check it out. I wasn't really sure why we were here, but the map told us to come, so I wanted to get prepared. I smelted some of the iron because I was going to go ahead and try make myself some armor and a shield. The sun fell and it was time to do so. I got my shield and managed to get myself a helmet. It wasn't much, but it was something. It was now time to head in to this gigantic skull. I probably shouldn't be doing this at night time, but hey, it's day three and we need some answers. So I headed straight in. This place was pretty cool, I've got to admit. I wasn't really sure what it was, some sort of a shrine or a temple. I moved forward with caution, but not really enough caution. As I walked, I stood right over the tripwire. I had no idea what it did until, yep, these guys spawned. Some crazy demon skeletons. I don't know where they came from, but they came at me hard. The battle was on. It was me versus four of them. Dude, these guys packed a punch. I had to retreat. I backed up, but before I knew it, I was down less than half my hearts. I managed to get outside and eat some food. I had to get my hearts back up. I only had three, but as I turned around, they were right behind me. Two of the archers, still shooting their arrows, trying to kill me. We ended up underneath the skull in a cave. It was me versus the two of them. I was able to use my shield to good effect, deflecting their arrows and land the swiping blows of my iron sword. But that was not it. There were still two more left. I had to make my way back up into the dragon skull to see if I could take them out. And thankfully, that's exactly what I did. I ended up finding this switch right at the top of this place and underneath, well, there was a hidden chest with a map. This map was leading me to a coastline with some strange stones. I wonder what it was. Let's find out tomorrow on day four.